Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch, episode 4 today. We just started chapter, or day 3 I think it was. Uh, this is as far as I've seen in the game. Like I said before, this is all new ter ter territory to me now. Um, yeah, so let's just jump in. Hopefully the game will run a bit smoother. I've tried disabling quite a lot of stuff in that. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know guys, sorry. It's just a wee bit uh, framey for me. It probably wouldn't be if I wasn't recording it, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll suffer. It's all right. All right, okay. So, open this. Hey, Henry. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Rally Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see... In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. I got a sweatshirt I like, good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Well, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're uh, they're steely, cold hard stare. <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Okay. Fine. So what do we do then? Right, I'm going to look at Delilah's lookout. Fair enough. Okay. So, maybe... No, okay. In the last episode she says we had to get to work, so we're not getting to work. Surely there's something to do. Glass cleaner. Thermos. Manly thermos. <laughs> right, okay, there has to be something for me to do. Old wood stove. Nope. Bleach. Can hear, hear my PC freaking, like, firing up like a jet engine again. Okay, um, examine some toilet paper. That's nice. Quilted toilet paper. Hmm. Okay, well, if there's nothing to do out here, well, in here, sorry, 
There may be stuff to do here. Maybe I need to go to the toilet or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think the toilet's over here though. Where's the porta potty thing? Oh, there it is there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there's nothing to do here then. What do we do? Hello? Anything? Is there stuff in the distance for me to do? I can't see anything to do. Okay, well, this might be a boring episode then. I don't know what's actually happening. Ah, oh, maybe I've got to get the rest of the boards. Is there more boards for me to hang with a broken window? Is there more wood for me to use? Water jug. This soap. Well, there has to be something for me to do. Maybe? Save for later. <laughs> Okay. Right, that, come on! What is going on? There has to be something for me to do. Oh my goodness. Don't, don't make me look at a walkthrough. There has to be something. Is it glitched, maybe? I hope not. I really hope it's not glitched. Right, okay, let's look at the map and see. Find boards down. Ah! Ugh! So annoying. Get a couple more boards. Right, okay. At least now I know. I didn't even realise that's what I had to do. My goodness. What's that for? Ah, right, okay. It's a spigot. Right, um, ah, there you go. Nice. Right, okay. Now at least I know what to do. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't see that. That's what I had to do. Like I knew. I knew the window had to be something to do with it because that's what he was doing at the start. Remember. He was at the broken window, so... That's perfect, eh? Nice! I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Three seconds, photo with Julia. Oh, man. Ah, uh, no! I said put back. There you go. Okay. okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. 
it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. Day nine. That's jumped up quite a bit. So yeah, like I, I again, I don't know what's happening. So, like, episodes might be long, they might be Hello, short. Henry. I don't know. Having a nice afternoon. Um, not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Okay. Whoa. This is like... <laughs> jumping up like mad now. Background noise is probably killing Henry. everything, Henry, sorry. Wake up. <gasps> yes. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, 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 wow. What's going on? Why is it going so, f like, so quickly? This might be a really short game. Is it too much to... of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, <laughs> when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Okay, um. So, where does that need to go? So, where is. Ah, like, there you go. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in 
Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walsh was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yep. Well, oh, nearly there. Nearly there. Maybe supply drop up here? Yes. Right, one, two, four. Um, what ones? It's two forks. This one. Oh man, what one? What one's ours again? North to retrieve supplies. Oh my goodness. Aye, two forks. That's our, that's our one. Okay. End day. Report heading home. Okay. Oh, whoops. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Okay. <laughs> right, okay, I think we'll call that an episode, uh, folks. Um, we'll make sure that there's no talking at the start and then we'll save it. But yeah, uh, this is going by really, really quickly. You've got oh. a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> the so, flapjack fire. No ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? Well, you really like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. I'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Okay, so we'll call it there, guys. Safe game. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!